As the new school year approaches, districts across the state are gearing up for changes to standardized testing. This new grading system is expected to present both challenges and opportunities for school districts like Bryan ISD. Donnie Tuggle explains. Changes to standardized testing could impact districts across the state. The new STAR 2.0 includes writing tests for all grades and interactive questions, offering a fuller picture of student knowledge. The Texas Education Agency warns that tougher standards might lower school ratings, even with academic improvements. Critics say this could boost the governor's push for school vouchers, advocating for more choices if public schools fall short. Brian ISD leaders shared their thoughts during a recent meeting. Campuses should expect to lower a letter grade rating. Um, if you're a high B, you might drop to a low B. If you're a mid B, you might drop to a C. That campuses and districts should prepare for that. And that is not an indication that your schools did not fare well this year as compared to the prior year. The Texas American Federation of Teachers and Brian ISD have voiced concerns saying the new letter grades don't tell the full story of what's happening in schools. This is a one day, one test that is taken um, to basically define a school district and a school campus. So I would say buyer beware. These are oversimplified labels that we would never use again to label a student. We give students a report card. We label them on each, every, and, and different subject areas. We should do the same exact thing for our schools. Schools are not suddenly worse overnight because mm -hmm. of a change in the accountability system. All of it can be attributed to um, how they've made changes in really every part of that accountability system and that we are still working on the important work, which is helping all of our students succeed. And Brian, Donnie Tuggle, News 3.